California's high-speed rail. I like trains. I like high-speed trains even better. A $64 billion project backed by Governor Brown and passed by voters in 2008. And build it, we will. America's first high-speed rail system. Today, the project is almost $3 billion over budget and seven years away from completion. But what if I told you that California already has a high-speed rail? Uh, yeah, my name is Max Schlinger, initial inventor of the Vector system. That's Vector with two R's, and it's a project that's consumed the life of Max Schlinger. Yeah, it has. It's, it's uh, been a big part of my life. This is one sixth scale model of Max's high-speed rail system. Well, we're designing the full scale to go about 180 miles an hour. Um, this one does about 30. This is Eric Schlinger, Max's son, and he helped build the Vector prototype above the family's vineyard in the rolling hills of Ukiah. We built it specifically to follow highway right of way. The Vector system was designed to be built on existing infrastructure and run on clean energy. Really clean. What do you have all these vacuums for? You guys got a big mess in here or something? Or? <laughs> Those vacuums will run this train down the track. It weighs probably about 1,200 pounds or so. Good old air, that's what powers this train, and it's really strong. It can easily climb a 10% grade, and get this, it takes just five pounds of pressure or vacuum to operate. That's less pressure than what's in a birthday balloon. Here's how it works. A piston that actually traverses inside this tube, that piston is magnetically coupled, and by applying pressure, and it looks kind of like this. <sighs> Now, this may remind you of Elon Musk's Hyperloop, but actually, the Vector system is modeled off an 18th century air train that was built by a British engineer named I.K. Brunel. In fact, initially, we tried to do the same thing they did. Max improved on the centuries-old idea, and so have other inventors. The propulsion plate is isolated from the exterior of the duct. This is an Aeromovelle, another air-powered train. And two models are actually in use today, one in Indonesia and another in Brazil. The idea was to come up with a transportation system that can be implemented now, not something that takes 30 years or 40 years. The air-powered vector has proven to work. The next step is a full-scale model in an urban area, but there's just one problem. I think the one thing uh, we didn't foresee is the fact that uh, transportation and trains are very, very political. Even after he built an affordable working model, Max says few people are looking at his idea and he can't seem to catch the attention of the California High-Speed Rail Commission or the governor. If you had Governor Jerry Brown here today, what would you say to him? I'd say you ought to consider it, you know, I, I really would. Like any big project, there are obstacles. Well, Governor Brown, I guess you can consider this your invitation. In Ukiah, John Bartell, ABC 10 News. Hey, thanks for watching, and check out more videos just like this. Also, let me know in the comments what you want me to check out next.